Welcome back everybody to Super Mega Baseball. This is episode number 9. And we begin the second half of this regular season with Logan Cannon taking the mound against the Herbosaurs. It's a matchup between two 4-4 four four teams today. And here are the stats now on the season. And we've won three games in a row. The offense has gotten a little bit better, but it's been the pitching that's been so dominant. They've only allowed three runs over the past three games. And it's really not reasonable to expect that to continue. So eventually, if we want to keep this up, we have to get more offense going. Is this the day we score more than three runs? Alright, and here we are with Logan Cannon making his third start. He's 2-0 on the season. How is Logan going to start this one off? He has Mojo there in the middle. He should be uh, feeling pretty good. He's been our best pitcher, arguably, so far this season. He starts the day with a foul. Let's go inside now, and there's the second foul, making it a two-strike count. Now, cut fastball was my pitch to go to last time around, although I want to go screwball away to get the desired uh, location and kind of movement on the pitch, and there it is. The same way I was using the cut fastball with Andrew Johnson, I used the screwball with the lefty Logan Cannon. And now it's Dolph Stake after a strikeout to begin the day. And he grounds the ball softly to Jonathan Starks. And that is two down. All right, Grunt Manley. Pretty good power. Pretty good batting stance, too. And he puts one in the left field. Lance Adams makes the catch. One, two, three inning. And here we go to our first time batting against Dick Lucas and his 338 ERA. So Jonathan Starks with a low average. It's ball one and now ball two inside. Good eye for Jonathan. And that one, that wasn't too high. Come on now, 2-1. That's in the zone, so it's two and two. Inside, no, you're kidding me. It always looks like it's gonna curve inside. At least I thought it was. Look at it, one out. And now we're gonna swing first pitch. Rose puts it in center field, but it's not deep yeah. enough, and it's caught for out number two. So that brings up Lance Adams, the best hitter on the team. Hi. That's too high. I popped up many one of those. Hey, 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 hey. Settle down now. He's trying to work Lance off the plate. It's now 3-0. And yeah. you're kidding me, right? It just drops in. And that one drops in. That was even worse. Down the middle, he pulled it right to the first baseman. Lance is going to hit it a ton every time, but like eight times out of ten, it's right at somebody. So to the second inning we go. Henry Hamster hits a ground ball to Darren Rose. Perfect throw and one down in the inning. Here's Morton Stanberg. And come on. Oh, you couldn't catch it, Cannon. Well, there goes the no-hitter four outs in. Good job. So they have a runner on first with one down. And now Juan Rojas here has two home runs on the season. And he anticipated that fastball. No, it got past Starks. Just past the glove. You're really going to go for third? That guy's like 80 years old. What is he doing? So two down. And we start this one with a foul. And strike two on the inside. You guys know what's happening. Screwball away. There it is. They look at it once again. So now, Corey Boyd is batting cleanup now after many requests for that in the comments section. Lance is batting third. And here is Boyd leading off. And I wanted to swing at that, but I'm trying to be patient. It usually pays off, right? Two strikes. Uh, come on! That would have been called a strike and you know it. So here is Maurice Manning with one down. Whoops, I forgot how to do power swing for a second. And I was too late on that power swing. Two strikes again. Oh my goodness. Why am I behind an 87 mile per hour pitch? My timing is just completely off right now. Back to back strikeouts. Here is Dominic Carter. Inside. Thank you. Even more inside. Ow, oh, come on. Too slow. That one's in the zone, making it two and two. And really? They can clip the corner with pinpoint accuracy. It's pretty ridiculous. 
So I think I struck out, they struck out the side that last half inning. They worked the corners and the outside uh, part of the plate very effectively. So it makes it very difficult. Tag him. There we go. So a quick two outs to start this inning. And now a pop-up for Manning. And he gets underneath it. That's out number three. A quick one here for Logan Cannon. And now we have the bottom part of the lineup. I'm not looking forward to it as Leon Daniels is leading off. Buck 20 average, two RBIs. And Leon swings through it for strike one. That one's also low. Oh my goodness, these change-ups. There we go, Leon. I don't even care that you hit it right at somebody. At least we hit the ball that time. So up now, Flash Jackson batting 208. Probably close to his average in the road to the shows. And there is out number two. So that brings up the pitcher. I'm not expecting our first hit to come now. But we're surely going to work the count, make him waste some pitches. I see Stamina's already taken a hit. And I just want to get someone else in there. Or at least get him tired so he makes some bad pitches and can't pitch as effectively as he normally does. And that's a pop out. So a very quick third inning. Nothing going on here. Still scoreless. And Dolph Steak hits it right to Starks. There's one out. By the way, if you haven't seen already, I did bring back the Desmond Payne Road to the show. So if you're looking for more baseball content, that's on my main channel along with MLB. The show 16 coming out next week. I'll be having plenty of that on my channel when it drops. Looking forward to some of the new modes in there and of course getting more Road to the Show going. Come on. Let's strike him out here. Ah, pop up. Leon can't get to it. Let's go with the change up. And it's popped up to deep short. And I really hope it doesn't fall in. And it doesn't. There it is. Darren Rose. So we're still scoreless through three and a half as we're back to the top of our lineup. We've been retired in order. No hits yet. Oh, come on. That one at least was a strike. I don't agree with some of these. And now Darren Rose. I just want to make him waste pitches. I don't want the accuracy to be so good that he can just paint the corners like he does. And right back to the pitcher. Where's the contact, guys? This is not great. So Lance Adams up now. You know he's going to hit it very hard. Oh, please get out. No! There I go, swinging at those high pitches once again. So another quick inning. We're in the fifth now. And it's a fly ball hit to Corey Boyd. And he makes the catch out near the track. Now Juan Rojas, who has a single already, but now a pop-up for Leon Daniels. And he makes the catch. Could be a quick half inning here. And there. Don't. It's going to go foul. It's going to go foul. Okay. I'll paint the corners now. Look at that. Strike two swinging. We're going to go change up low and away. And that's a pop-up once again. Now we're forcing the pop-ups. I like this change. But no offense, really. We've seen a single. So, fifth inning now. 37 pitches for Lucas. And here is Corey Boyd. Yeah, look at that. I don't like those pitches. That's too high. Why am I swinging at that? And now, fouling that one off. It's still 0-2. And Boyd up the middle. There's our first base hit. Fell behind, but he gave me a pitch to hit. And we have to work the counts more so that we can hopefully get some of those with his accuracy and stamina dropping. You can see his rating is already taking a small dip, which is what we need. Now it's a 2-0 count, and it should be 3-0, but that, I guess, goes in. That was actually a pretty good strike. And come on, softly hit to short. That's an easy double play. I'm tired of these weekly hit ground balls, guys. Dominic Carter now. Oh, I do that every time. Whenever that's like up and into a lefty, I always swing and miss. So 2-1 and one now to Carter. That's high. 3-1. Can we get a two-out walk? Falls in. There it is. Full count. And there goes Carter the other way. It's hooking foul and stays in the field of play. 
Okay, so cannons allowed two hits. We've only hit or gotten one hit. This is gonna be the quickest episode at this rate. You got that this Look at that, that's what they do against me. And the fastball away gets the swing and a miss. Okay, Dick Lucas has a home run on the season. I just noticed that. So watch out for the pitcher here. And he pops it up. Daniels, can he track it down? Yes! Well done, Leon. Two outs. And there's a foul. Look out! Bad curveball, bad curveball. And no! Just missed it. Going for those highlight reel catches. That's the third hit allowed. It was a terrible pitch. The worst on the day. But can we get out of this inning? Up the middle. Back-to-back -back hits all of a sudden. They have a runner in scoring position. So watch out. Who's up now? Grunt Manley. And he's feeling the pressure. Mojo's down. This is good. And he swings and misses at strike one. Let's go. With the two-seamer. That is pulled to right, but it doesn't have the carry. Boyd makes the catch, and that's another scoreless inning. So Leon Daniels now. He's been catching pop-ups. Do something here in the box, Leon. Look at that. He's losing his command. That's what I need to do. And Leon, come on! He grounds it. That was good timing. That should have been a line drive. Let's be honest. That should have been a line drive. Here's Flash Jackson. Oh my goodness. I, I sat on it. I saw it. We still can't get these balls out of the infield. Logan Cannon now. That's a strike. I don't know why I always decide to work the count more with my pitcher, but I do. Two strikes to Cannon. And a pop-up. It's going to be a pop-up or a ground ball this game, it seems. So, how's Cannon's stamina doing? Still over half. Maybe seeing slight dips in his ratings, but nothing too bad right now. Accuracy is good. And that one is popped, or skied to center. A little too far underneath it, though. Jackson with the catch. That's one down. Now Morton Stanberg, who tried to leg out an extra base earlier, and it didn't work. We can make this throw. And there it is. How about that, Stanberg? Off the pitcher, but... That's Rose with the perfect throw. And now two strikes. Here's the changeup. And strike three. I can work the plate effectively too. So we've had one hit in the game. Our averages are dipping. Here is Jonathan Starks. Strike one on the outside somehow. And now Starks pops it to left field. At least it left the infield this time, but we're just not making as good a contact as we normally do. Now it's Darren Rose, and softly hit to the shortstop. Is my timing that bad? Like, it doesn't seem like it. Lance Adams now with two strikes or two outs. Eh, inside and I was too ahead of it. And there's strike two. And Lance Adams can't get it out of the infield now. What a pitcher's duel today. It's kind of annoying me, to be honest. Here is the pitch. And strike one to Stewart. Now we're going to go away. He's worried, by the way. And there's Corey Boyd with the catch. He's had some tough line drives out there, but he's handled them nicely. And that one's pulled to deep left. Lance tracking it down. He makes the catch. So they're starting to get some carry on these hits, and that does slightly worry me. And now a pop-up. But will it fall in? Here comes Flash, and there we go. All three outfielders made a catch this inning. Nice job. Bottom of the eighth now. It's still scoreless. And Corey Boyd has one hit on the day. And I missed that one. It was our only hit of the game. One and one. That one's low, okay. And now Boyd can't get it past the third baseman. There's one down. You can see the stamina continue to lower. The ratings are pretty bad. We need to take advantage here. Maurice Manning pulls it deep to right. Doesn't have enough. 
It's off the wall. Extra bases at least. A double for Maurice Manning. It's just our second hit. Can we bring him around? Dominic Carter is not even batting 100 right now. Come on. And Carter goes the other way. Come on. It's got to go. No, it's caught. And I thought it was going to drop in. And I got doubled up. Oh my goodness. Well, I saw the runner, who's immediately controlled by the AI, like take off for third. And I know he's going to go at least halfway, but I thought that he was displaying the confidence that I was going to drop in. Because on here, when the, the balls go to the upfield, they do go most of the way to the next base. And it does trick me sometimes. So we're in the ninth inning, still scoreless. We still have Logan Cannon on the mound. His stamina is pretty good. His ratings have barely dropped. So he's going nowhere. Nervous. And strut. They would have given that to the AI. They would have given that one to the AI. I've definitely struck out on that pitch right there. Anyway, 1-2. And the changeup fools it. Okay, Grunt Manly. High pressure. He's worried. We're in their heads. Their mojo is completely toast. Now we're going to go with the curveball. Oh, I missed it. That's not good. Ground ball back to Cannon. Nine scoreless innings. But it might not be enough. Because we have the bottom of our lineup due right now. Can we end this in the ninth inning? It's Leon Daniels batting 111. He's 0 for 2 on the day. Leon, it's your moment. They're keeping Lucas on the mound. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I apologize for that one. Whoa. Okay, you can't fool me twice. That one's too low. His command is bad. Inside, ball three to Leon. And Daniels pulls that one foul. So a full count. No, it was inside. No. Just a straight fastball. Now Flash Jackson. All right, Flash, come on. No, I'm ahead of it. It was down the middle. Outside. That's outside. And that one finds the outside part. One and two. Checks into the gap. Let's go. That's going to be extras. Putting the winning run on second base. Our second double of the day. And now I must bring in a pinch hitter. I'm not keeping Cannon out there. He's had nine scoreless innings. That's good enough. It's time. Extreme pressure. His mojo's up. Hudson has higher mojo. Let's go. Maurice Hudson has entered the game, and his facial expression has me somewhat concerned. He's in the zone, though. Hudson! No! Get back to second. I thought that was the swing I needed to make right there. I thought it would go deep. Got underneath it. It's just a pop-up. Big waste there. And now Jonathan Starks, extreme pressure. And now they bring in a new pitcher. So Starks... With the winning run at second. And Starks, will it drop in? It sails foul. So one strike to Starks. And Starks fouls that one off. It's a two strike count. No! Swing and a miss! Probably would have been called strike three anyway. I thought we could win this game right there. I thought Maurice Hudson was going to end the game. My timing was good. The power was good. Unbelievable. Okay, so. Stamina looks pretty good on these guys. We're going to put in Eric Hancock now. We've gone to extra innings. It's the 10th. So, it's not going to be a complete game. Shutout victory for Logan Cannon as we could not score. And Daniels makes another good catch. I like Daniels on defense. He does a good job. Morton Stanberg now. He's nervous, and he's looking at the curveball. He has no idea what hit him. Oh, yeah, the fastball inside. Come on now. Oh, the screwball away, my strikeout pitch. That and the cut fastball depends on the pitcher and hitter. No, don't let it drop in. I thought someone was going to catch it. So here's Rojas, who has a hit, and they bring in a pinch runner, someone who's fast, Steve-O Reeves. And this guy is nervous now. Their whole team has no confidence. How are they even 500? And it's popped up. This one needs to be caught. 
no excuse this time. And there is Darren Rose. So two down here in the top of the 10th inning. Bringing up Milo Stewart, who's 0 for 3 on the day. Man, everybody in this game's mojo is really bad. And Leon just gets the tag. Mojo drops even more. Here we go, guys. Bottom of the 10th. It's Darren Rose, 0 for 3 on the day. Why am I swinging at that? One strike. Outside. Let's work the count a bit. Stamina's already less than half, by the way. No way! These change-ups are so slow. I can't sit on them. So that brings up Lance Adams. Hitless on the day. And I thought it was too hittable. I swung too early. That one's outside. So slow. And now sitting on it. There is Lance Adams with a base hit. One out. Man on first for Corey Boyd. Who has one of our only hits on the day. Too high. And again, he knows how to take the speed off the pitch. Two strikes to Boyd. Strike three. I thought I was going to be too low. I think I just... I've proven I can't read these pitches very effectively. They're bringing in another new pitcher. We're going to make him use their entire bullpen. Manning with two outs. Too low. Ball one. And now Manning to center, but it won't fall in. How do you get a line drive that far with, like, that low trajectory? Come on, Manning. 11th inning. Still scoreless. The ultimate pitcher's duel. There's one down. And now their pitcher's up. And this pitcher doesn't have very good hitting ratings at all. And there's another foul, so two strikes. I want to make quick work here. The relievers don't have the stamina the starters do, so I need to get out of here quickly. Strike three on the curveball. And now Stokes has a hit on the day. And this is weekly hit to Rose, and that's out number three. Okay, bottom 11. Can we end the game here? It's Dominic Carter. He needs to raise the average. He's too good at linebacker to be this bad at baseball. Does that make sense? Not really. One strike. Oh my goodness. Two strikes. I thought it would hit the... I thought it would be a strike. I thought all of those would be strikes, and they were awful pitches. So Leon Daniels. There we go. I'm going to be a little bit more patient now. His accuracy is nothing, but there he goes perfect. Ball two away. And now Leon! Oh my goodness. I thought that timing was really good. It's just a shallow pop out. And now Flash Jackson. He gave us some hope earlier. Thought we could win it with his double. And eventually bring him around. And now strike two on the inside. And now a ground ball to the second baseman. We're going to the... No, it got away! Okay. So, do I keep in Hancock now? Or do I get risky here? I don't want him pitching three innings. Let's bring in Andrew Ross. Another power bat. Extreme pressure. Great mojo. Come on, Andrew. No, it's too high. One strike. That's too low, though. One and one. Oh my goodness, it's too high again. And now I ripped it out of the park foul. Come on. He has so much power. Uh oh, it's too low, but he fouls it off. He stays alive. Two and two. And he sits on it again. It's hooked foul. Inside ball three. Come on, Ross. No, it's strike three. I thought it would be a terrible pitch. Man, that's so disappointing. Now I got to put in Andy Beckwith. I was getting hyped up there. They had the error. We had a great power hitter. 12th inning of work, and Lance makes that catch. Here's the curveball. And a diving stop made by Starks, and the throw is in time. Two outs. Here's Henry Hamster. 
And he fouls off the first pitch of the at-bat. Now we're going to go low and inside. And he pulls that one foul. He's way in front. We got to change speeds now. Change up. And he missed. Quick inning there for Andy Beckwith. Now we go bottom 12. Come on, Jonathan. We want to get out of here. Jonathan Starks looks at ball one. And now gets too early. Uh, am I, is my timing that bad today? Two and one. And now ball three. Let's walk Starks. There it is. The leadoff man is on first. So they're bringing in yet another pitcher. It's their closer, Elric Rippin. And he's all velocity. And that's good, because I don't like pitchers with a lot of movement. Oh my, he's like a submariner? Okay, that that's throwing me off guard. That's not okay. One down. It's the first time I've seen a pitcher like this in the game. Lance Adams now with one down. Oh, that was okay. some... It looked fast. Really wasn't though. And now Lance pops out of play. Two strikes. Strike three, you're I have out. looked at so many strike threes in this game. Man. This pitcher's at my number. And now boy deep to center, but caught. Oh my. We're going to the 13th inning. This is going to be the longest game ever. It's pulled deep left center. No, it's just off the wall. But he's going to get to at least third base on this. That's a leadoff triple. What do you do here? It's chilly little. Beckwith gives up a leadoff triple. And now we need to uh, somehow get out of this jam. There's strike one. We need to get some strikeouts, Andy. And strike two. Fastball away. Ball two. We got to go with the cut fastball away. It's time to unleash it again. And it's grounded. We're getting the out at home. There it is. Out number one. We got it. Okay. We're keeping that run off the board. Great job. And now, let's get out of this inning. No. That's in the gap as well. Are you kidding me? He's not even into his 10th pitch yet. And now that's going to bring home the first run of the day. It's their second triple. I just made a great play to get them out of the, uh, like, to get that leadoff runner. And now all of a sudden, Beckwith can't stop anybody. And I just made a terrible throw. We should have had the second out there. We got to get him out. We gotta take out Beckwith. He's disappointing today. We have to put in Evan freaking Newton now. Evan Newton! Getting the ground ball. That's all I needed. Quick little double play to get us out of the inning. Thank you, Evan. Your best appearance yet. But we gave up a run. Now, we have to keep this game going somehow. Maurice Manning is up. And there's strike one on the outside. And, oh, come on. I was a little bit too late. Popping it up to deep third, and there is out number one. Dominant Carter now. Come on, Dom. And Carter pulls it. It's going deep to right. Come on. And cut on the track. No. Now we're down to our final out, and it's Leon Daniels, everybody. Here in the 13th inning. Pop up out of play. Daniels! It goes deep to center! How far? Not yeah. deep enough! And we lose 1-0 in 13 innings. That was aggravating, to be honest. Not being able to get decent contact for most of the game. I struck out 11 times. A lot of those looking... Man, that marathon of a game. And we couldn't even score a run. We had some great hits that just went to the track. Two of them right there in the last inning. That's so disappointing. So I went through the available coaches and stuff. 
And I did add a couple more. So I gave Jonathan Starks plus five contact. I made Andrew Ross a little bit better. And I applied a few more upgrades like I have. I think the junk is better now for Andrew Johnson. But there are still a lot of players who don't have open slots that I need to upgrade. So I have to just continue playing with them. That was just disappointing to lose. one nothing like that. But we're still 4-5. We're third place in the division. I'm not sure how many playoff teams there end up being. But we're obviously going to shoot for at least second place in the division. And we'll see who we play next. We have just who I wanted to play against. The Overdogs. That's exactly who we need to beat. So we can get a little bit higher in the division. And we will see that next time. So thank you all for watching. Disappointing day on offense. We had some moments where I thought we had something going. But ultimately, it was another disappointment. So, we lost one nothing in extra innings, and we'll see what's in store in episode 10. Have a great day, guys. I will see you next time.